This is a how-to guide on drawing positive externalities of production and the example we're using here is staff training. So the first thing we need to do is find the marginal private benefits, uh, the same as the demand uh, for staff training, and we need to find the marginal private cost or supply line of staff training. Uh, because we're looking at production here, we need to make the uh, consumption lines equal, so we make it social uh, benefit equal to the private benefit because there's nothing to do with demand or consumption here we're looking at production so we find the free market point where supply equals demand or private cost equals private benefit so the price of staff training in the market is PE and it's QE that's the quantity um, supplied and consumed so we know then that staff training is good for um, other people and for society because actually maybe these staff go off and work for the businesses and society is generally better off so then we need to say that there should be more staff training supplied in the market and produced in the market so the new supply line really should be um, to the right so we should have a marginal social cost um, of uh, to the right here so what we do is we need to therefore find the socially optimum point so where the social cost to um, the society and to the business equal the social benefits to society from the staff training as well so the socially optimum point then is where uh, social cost equals social benefits so we have the socially optimum point and that is the point at which we would uh, produce and uh, consume staff training if we were uh, taking into consideration the benefits of such staff training. So the quantity supply should be much higher and the price of, of the staff training should be lower as well. Um, but we're not at that point, we're not at the social optimum point, remember, we need to actually, we are at the free market point. So at the free market point, we need to find uh, the um, positive externalities from being at um, this point here so the positive externalities from being at the free market uh, is this arrow here uh, that is what um, we are gaining extra uh, from the market from having the staff training so that's the positive externalities uh, so the business uh, and the industry then says that well actually we're not at the social option point yet um, so where we're at now gives us these positive externalities so we do have a market failure. We need to find the deadweight welfare loss or the potential welfare gain. Um, so if we maybe produced a little bit more staff training, maybe at this point here, there would be a little bit less um, positive externalities to take advantage of. And if we produced at this point, there'd be a bit less as well. So what we want to do is we want to maximise our positive externalities and take advantage of those. And um, we want to be at the social optimum point. So all we do is we go from the free market point and we go to the socially uh, social cost line and we just shade in this triangle here because we we have these positive externalities here but we're not taking advantage of them. We need to take as much positive externalities and take advantage of them as we can. So we have this, uh, the deadweight um, welfare triangle there and that shows us the potential the potential um, welfare gain if we actually produced at this socially optimum point we would get rid of this triangle and we'd gain all of these positive externalities here okay so that's the positive externalities of production